Hey everybody, what's happening? First of all, I got this super, super sweet 1960s K Vanguard. Really cool old guitar. It was a junker, but I thought, hey, you know what? I could refurbish this guy, fix him up, make him look all nice and pretty like. But I wanted to take you guys through how I plan on making a new pick guard for this. So when I got this body, the guy had a pick guard that he said was custom made for it. It wasn't custom made for it. It's pretty junky actually. It's like super thin, no plies. That doesn't even fit, junky junky. But I knew it wasn't gonna work. Not for what I wanted to do. So let's begin. All right, so to start, there are a few things you are gonna need to do this. I usually just take printer paper, tape a few sheets together, put it down, get the general shape, trace it, cut some away. All right. This template that I made earlier is already in the general shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rough trace. And no, I'm not gonna keep a lot of these lines. Now I'm gonna start out by making this a little smaller so it's easier to work with. Doesn't look like much yet, but it will. If you don't have an original pick guard or anything close to it to work off of, you can cut it down little bit by little bit to get it closer and closer to the shape that you want, but you don't have to have that to work off of. I'm gonna get this just roughly in place, just kind of feeling by the cavities. I'm gonna tape this to the guitar. I'm not gonna tape where I'm drawing. The reason I'm doing this is just so I can push it down and get the cavities to show up. So I know exactly where my lines need to be. I'm basically tracing it with my fingers. That way. I I know what room I have to work with. You can also do this with a pencil too. I know that I want this piece to be a little straighter here. Straighten this. And I know that I probably want these camel hump thingies to come down a little. All right, so normally I would not take a X-Acto knife to a guitar body, just to let you know. I'm gonna sand down the top anyways. I think I got the general shape, something I like. I think I dig it better than the original. It's just a little different. As you can see, like the neck pocket is in flat, and that's enough to get a rough cut on a piece of MDF for a template. So let's take the template over to the bandsaw and get it cut. So for cutting out the general shape to the pick guard, you don't have to have a bandsaw. You can do that with a jigsaw. Just get yourself some good jigsaw blades and you'll be good to go. We have our template roughed 
out on the MDF board. And what we want to do is we're going to take it over to the power sander and clean it up. You can use a hand sander and do just fine. Um, it's just going to take a little bit longer. I'm just gonna take a little wooden dowel, a piece of sandpaper, just 120 grit. I'm gonna wrap the dowel in it and then just use that to sand the curves. You can also use a pencil if you don't have a dowel. The end of a handle of something, screwdriver, you can just use to round it out. All right, I just got the pick guard template pretty much there. Can actually slap this on some pick guard material and cut it out. Woohoo! So I got this sweet five ply black pick guard, guard, not black pick guard, black pick guard material. See, check out all the plies from Stumac. Thank you, Stumac, for everything. I'm gonna throw the template on that guy. This is the challenge with pick guards, right? Because you get a sheet of pick guard material and you want to at least get two pick guards out of it if you can, but sometimes you just can't. Something like that maybe that could salvage this whole area for another guard because this is not cheap. I'm gonna tape this down with double-sided sticky tape and then take it over to the band saw and get the shape cut out. Woo! -hoo. And that, my friends, is double-sided sticky tape. Uh, you should totally get some. I use it for all the things. Let's take it over the bandsaw and get it cut out. We just cut out the pick guard. It's rough cut. Now we're gonna go in with the router and clean it up. So the ball bearing bit that we're gonna use is gonna be one from Stumac. It's a great bit. I've used it for years. I try to keep the bit as clean as possible. You can scrape it off with a razor to clean it up after you cut. So I was trying to decide uh, which router to go with. If I wanted to get the big daddy router or the tiny baby router. I decided to go with the baby router because it's easier, it's lighter. If you don't have a router, I guess you could sand it. You'd have have to do a lot of sanding so this just makes it much easier what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on our pick guard bit it's basically just a 45 degree angle cut so that way we can cut the bevel into the pick guard so we're just gonna throw this on the router and run over the pick guard do, 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 do. we want to set our depth correctly or else we will take off too much so i'd say probably about like right in there is where we want to start you may want a larger bevel you may not mm, i don't know but also too you don't want to take off uh, a lot of your template either I just realized I cut the wrong side of the pick guard. Just taking a moment. I was trying to do the matte side and I cut the gloss side. That was stupid. Now I gotta redo it. Cool. Now you know. Guitar building. Yay! Always double check things. Good thing I love doing this. Anybody need a lefty pick guard for a K Vanguard? All right, like 20 minutes later, got everything recut. This is now my matte pick guard. Five ply. Tuxedo vibes. There it is. Nice, that looks good. All right, so the easiest way to get these things off is to use a paint scraper. Key is just to be slow with it so we don't break the pick guard. Especially now that I've used all of the pick guard material. Very nice. It's looking pretty good, huh? I'm gonna go around with some sandpaper and just clean up my lines. Not too bad, huh? Pretty good for making a template and a pick guard. And then I've got the pickup for this guy. 
Got a nice little Gemini pickup. Yeah, look at that. Look at that patina. Oh yeah. So yeah. More to come.